Hello and hui. Mida. This is Fame Regina. Hi Weed, how's it going? Let's kill the music. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry everyone, I'm a little bit late. It's been one of those days. <laughs> and we are gonna do Dutch. Just Dutch today. Let's do maybe one or two things on Duolingo. And then I'm gonna do some Close Master. Let's see how, with how the time goes. And then we'll do Close Master Ling out, drops, and some Dutch grammar. How does that sound to everyone? Yes, we're gonna strengthen. Let's strengthen everything. Oh, second, I can't see. Uh, I gotta change, just adjust something here. Um, wait, what's going on? Yeah, I can't see what's going on here. Is my display on or off? I can't tell. Nope, it's back on. Yeah, now it's off. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't see. Couldn't see the switch. That's better. That's better. Now I can see it. I hope everyone's having a good day. <coughs> I'm trying not to think about PlayStation. I know, every, I, I think a lot of people are upset that they can't get the PlayStation. It's kind of stupid. I'm only mildly upset. It was worth a try trying to get it. Then I only ever said I was going to get PlayStation as soon as I can. Which wasn't necessarily release date. As soon as I can. <laughs> Lots of different variables in the as soon as I can. <laughs> Why am I doing that? I know Dutch. Ik eat lunch. No, middag eten. Do you, do you actually say lunch in the office? Or do you actually say middag eten? Mm -hmm. Nee. <coughs> to Tomat. Uh, wait. Oh, sorry. Do tomat. I'm spacing. Uh, oh man. What's this food practice? Uh, do art by? I think it's do art by. Is lecker. <clears throat> it is the the bar is lekker. Lekker. The jongens hebben kip. The jongens hebben kip. Let's turn this up a little bit. The audio. Let's see. The jongens hebben kip. Okay, let's check my audio settings on it. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. <coughs> oh, good. <And> good. <coughs> Excuse me. Applications. Why is that? I... That's stupid. Okay. <coughs> nexty, nexty. <coughs> But in other news, in other related gaming news, I do have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Don't know when I'm gonna play it. We'll see. Ik heb honger. The jongens hebben kip. Uh, the boys have chicken. Do tomat and do apple. Het glas. Het glas. The the vrouw heeft een tomaat. De kinderen eten een sinaasappel. De kinderen eten een. De kinderen eten een sinaasappel. Een sinaasappel. The children eat an orange. Aan ont bijt een mid middag eten. 
Ik heb ook. Ik heb middag eten. Actually. Actually. I have both. Breakfast and lunch. Ik heb. How do you say that? Ik heb beide ontbijt en middag eten. Ik heb beide ontbijt en middag eten. Okay. I think. That's how I'm going to review Dutch grammar. De arbeid. <coughs> de vrouw heeft de peper. Het meisje heeft een sinaasappel. Het meisje heeft een sinaas. Sinaasappel. Oh! Next. Uh, we hebben honger en dorst. De kinderen eten een sinaasappel. The children eat an orange. Ik drink een glas melk. De kinderen hebben honger. Uh, het is een ei. Uh, de kip en... Oh. Het ei. I think it's hat. Thank you. They're actually teaching us the done hat with the hover orders now. Yay! <coughs> that was a little bit of Dutch practice. <laughs> it's like all my skill, almost all my skills came back as like needing to be strengthened. It's ridiculous. It's only at 75%. Like, I really don't understand what they determine to be crack skills because it's like, it says it's a crack skill, but it's 100%, 75%? Okay, it's cracked. It's 75%. It's not even 100%. I mean, sorry, it's not even like 0% strengthened. So strengthening is... The crack skills and the strengthening don't seem to match up entirely all right and yes i almost forgot i'm on a 2200 day streak yay me i forgot to add that i'm gonna add that to the title actually yay i got 2200 2200 day streak can i add that in here somewhere i don't know actually maybe i'll change it Yeah, I can't. It's not lying to me. It's not gonna fit. It's fine. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some more. I don't know. Maybe I'll do some more. Nah, it's fine. I could always do more Duolingo later, but I don't feel like it. Um, because I need to do language learning for with my other stuff. Okay, close master time. Still Dutch. No, not close master time. Actually, I was going to do echels for sprekers for het Netherlands. Ne ah, the hell am I saying? <laughs> or should I do French? No, I don't want to change my language. I'm doing English for Dutch speakers. And I am hungry. My stomach is gurgling. I hope you can't hear that. Yes, see this is my breakfast and my lunch. Mm. For Sprekers von Het Netherlands. Okay.
Wow. I'm in the demotion zone. Wow. The decadence zone. That's fun. Review. Time. It is in November. No, I'm not going to type the English from my English listening is fine. Okay, I do this so I can practice typing in Dutch more, but it's fine. January and February are months of the year. January and February zijn maanden van het jaar. January and February are months of the year. Well, this is what I've told, said before on my stream. It doesn't even matter if the sentence is in English. I still need to hear it because I can only remember up to like five syllables. <laughs> the weeks of the month. The bacon van de month. We read Huh? Nay, look what they gave me. I mean, granted, my English sentence probably doesn't make a lot of sense in most contexts, I guess. But you could read, you, you could read a piece of a newspaper or a piece of a letter, a piece of a paper. Duolingo making me question things but why would the dutch put wij lezen en stukje instead of wij lezen en beta isn't beta more like an adjective if, if that being said what does re we read a bit mean nate It's, it doesn't even make sense with this one. The correct solution doesn't even make sense even in English either. We read a piece, we read a bit, they're both mean about the same thing. I'm reporting it. Man antwoord so, he accepted muten worden. I'm just reporting it. We drink the beer in November. So they can the bear. The beer. The calendar. We drink beer at the fair. Lincoln beer. At the fair, hop. Uh, at the fair is a uh, het kerst? No. Kermis? Is it the het kermis? Drink. We. Beer. At. The. Fair. The kermis. October and December are months of the year. Up. October and December design London fun at yard. The lazen. I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna put in beta. Okay, so you can say in beta, in beta of unstuck. <coughs> Mm. 
I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> I reported my answer. Also because the hover over gave it to me, so. I mean, does it make, does it make sense even saying we read a bit, we read a, we, we read a piece, we read a bit. What the f- Okay. Next, close master. I really gotta get through this fluency fast track, I think. I've been doing this to review, but let's get through this fluency fast track. Go, I'm listening. Slechts twee mensen overleefden de aardbeving. Slechts twee mensen overleefden de aardbeving. Overleefden. <coughs> overleefden. Aardbeving is earthquake. Only two people survived the earthquake. Overleefde, overleve, overleve means to survive. Slechts twee mensen overleefden de aardbeving. Lopen op het perron terwijl je met iets anders bezig bent is levensgevaarlijk. Jesus man, how do people even remember all of that? Lopen op het perron terwijl je met iets anders bezig bent is levensgevaarlijk. Gevaarlijk. Of course, it's the last word that they want. Lopen op het perron terwijl je met iets anders bezig bent is levensgevaarlijk. Oh, levensgevaarlijk. Technically, the word for dangerous is gevaarlijk. Um. Havar is danger. Havar means danger. And technically, havarlik it by itself means dangerous. But they want to say, but Levin's havarlik is like um, life threatening, is what I would translate it as. Dangerous for life, basically, is the literal. Life's dangerous. <laughs> Which we wouldn't really say in English. <clears throat> I think that's like train tracks, or is that platform? Oh, platform, okay. Lopen op het perron terwijl je met iets anders bezig bent is levensgevaarlijk. Levensgevaarlijk. Dat ging per ongeluk. Dat ging per. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. He's quiet. Dat ging per ongeluk. Dat ging per ongeluk. So this is literally that went by accident. I didn't mean to. I guess that makes sense. <coughs> Does this make sense to you, Nate? I think it makes sense as a Dutch expression. Still think I'd be it's gonna it's be hard for me to remember that Dutch expression. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. At some point, I guess at some point in English, I'm going to end up saying that went by accident. <laughs> well, I guess you could just say that was by accident, right? I did. Yes, but to get the Dutch one with that, you want to say that was by accident. Dat ging per ongeluk. Ik vroeg haar of ik het boek kon lezen. I asked her if she can read the book. If I can read the book. Ik vroeg haar of ik het boek kon lezen. Kon lezen. If I can read the book. Ik vroeg haar of ik het boek kon lezen. We hebben het geld onderling verdeeld. Onderling verdeeld. We have the gold. Underling. We have shared the money. We hebben het geld onderling verdeeld. Onderling? I've never heard underling before. We hebben het geld onderling verdeeld. It means between us. Mutually, reciprocally. 
I just hear that and I see I see underling. Minions, underlings. That's what I think. Deepy ruikt lekker. Oh, yeah. Deepy ruikt lekker. Deepy ruikt lekker. Damn, I couldn't even hear that crap. Mm. Beer fear. Beer fear. Beer fear. I think everyone that is all the gamers out there are now crying because we can't get PlayStation 5, Nate. Beer fear. Beer fear. It's quiet today on Twitch. I see. <clears throat> of the channels I'm following, I see five. And I'm following quite a few different channels. It's not a lot. It's like, you know, it's really quiet today. It's all right. A quiet stream sometimes is all right, I guess. Klopt deze informatie? Informatie. Klopt deze informatie? Difference between this, I think. <clears throat> hmm. In lifting, this is information as well. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out the difference between in lifting. Sorry, it should be in lifting. Um. Man, Fondala with their goddamn ads. Jeez. Yeah, in Lichting is this kind of information. Um, in Fodmatsi is, I guess, less. more general. I don't know, it gives it as a synonym to inlicting havens. The havens is also not a good word. Data. Uh, yeah, I guess havens is more like data. Every information that can be read by a computer. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Back to the close master. Je kwam me ter hulp. Je kwam me ter hulp. So she came to help me. She came to my aid. Oh, good lord. I really don't like to... some of these translations. Dat nummer is perfect. Dat nummer is perfect. Dat nummer is perfect. Een vrouw wie rechtgenoot is overleden is een weduwe. Mm. 
Een vrouw wie rechtgenoot is overleden is een weduwe. This is archaic actually. I remember reading about this in Dutch grammar. This. A woman whose husband has died is a widow. But that's because in Dutch, actually, when I was reading my Dutch grammar book, which is a really good Dutch grammar book by Routledge, uh, the author was explaining that these constructions are generally awkward. A woman whose husband, blah, 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 blah. Those dep I guess that's the dependent clause. They're pretty kind of weird in Dutch. Nate, have you? You haven't been paying attention, have you, with the dependent clauses in Dutch? In the office? They can be, they can have some, I think in, I think colloquially, I think they would say van wie, ben vrouw van, van wie echt genota. Wait, why is it echt genot? It should be echt genot. They even put echt genota. Hold on a second. That's actually wrong. It should be echt notes for a husband. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but uh, colloquially, I think they say van V. Van V. Van V, sorry. And they can also use that one too. Ugh. Yeah, close master goofed here. This means wife, actonota. <sighs> tatuba. Don't make me go do tatuba today. <laughs> so it's, it should be either translated as a woman whose wife. Yeah, they want husband. What the hell? They did something wrong. Oh, I'm not logged in, huh?
No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Got it. It's fine. Thank you. And how's it going? I'm good. Sorry, yes. I temporarily space. There you go. <laughs> I had to sign into a site, so I muted and uh, turned off the scene for a sec. For I forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> you had my mod panicking. <laughs> Yeah, this is a bad translation. This means a wife whose wife is dead is a widow, and it's supposed to be a wife whose husband is dead is a widow. I guess we do say that, huh? Okay, never mind. Just gonna say whatever. Een vrouw wie rechtgenoot is overleden is een weduwe. En hola, como estas hoy? How are you today? Hey, nexty, nexty. Today is just Dutch. Only Dutch today. Because I have to. I have to do that. I have to do Dutch. You're a Stoibian. You're fine. That's good. Where's my rest of my Dutch? Netherlands. Netherlands for speakers von het France. Dutch for speakers of French. Or Dutch for, for French speakers. Uh, how do I do this one? What is going on with this? Well, let's do this one. Oh, I didn't do the speaking practice. Oh, I'll do that later, maybe. Close master takes a lot of time. Niet wat u zegt. You're preparing lunch. That's nice. Ik begrijp. Ik begrijp. Wait, what did she say? Ik begrijp niet wat u zegt. Ik begrijp. I thought I typed that. Okay. Ik begrijp niet wat u zegt. Je ne comprends pas ce que vous dites. I don't understand what you say. I don't understand what you said. That's weird. Nay, you've hung around Dutch people for quite a while now. Would that be normal? Because in English we would say, I don't understand what you said. This is, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay. Rain. Dit is mijn vader. Can't even English anymore. Dit is mijn vader. So mon pierre. This is pretty father. easy actually. So mon pierre is this is my father. Pork ribs. Oh, very nice. Uh, next one. Het spijt mij wat ik gedaan heb. Het spijt mij wat. Well, it spijt mij wat ik. Uh, I'm sorry. This is like, I'm sorry for what I did. Désolé de ce que j'ai fait. Het spijt mij wat ik gedaan heb. Het spijt mij wat ik gedaan heb. Het spijt mij is literally, is like, I'm sorry. It's like, it's like, it makes me sorry or something. It's just an expression. You kind of have to remember from Dutch. Het spijt mij wat ik gedaan heb. Désolé de ce que j'ai fait. J'ai. Can you come? Can you come? Putu venir. Can you come? Can you come? That one's actually pretty easy. Oh, it's mastered already. Next. Ik weet niet of ik het goed begrepen heb. Ik weet niet of ik het goed. Ik weet niet of ik het goed begrepen heb. Begrepen. Begrepen. Ik weet. I don't know if I understood that well Ik weet niet of ik het goed begrepen heb. Ik weet niet of ik het goed begrepen heb. Je ne sais pas si j'ai bien compris. Zij ziet eruit als haar moeder. Zij ziet eruit. She looks like her mother. Zij ziet eruit als haar moeder. Elle ressemble à sa mère. 
Hij ging uit de kamer. Hij ging uit de kamer. He left the room. Il quitta la pièce. Hij ging uit de kamer. That's actually... Uh, uh, that's more literary French. That's definitely literary French. Colloquially, they use the passé composé in français <clears throat> as their standard past tense. I don't think that's changed over the years since I first learned French. Het is een gek idee. It is a heck idea. It's a crazy idea. C'est un idée ding. Het is een gek idee. I don't even remember this word from French. Ding. Ding. I don't remember this word from French actually. Do you remember this word from French, Nate? Ding. Oh, ding. 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 I said it like I was Dutch. Elle se fouet de la habitation. He was Elvis. <laughs> he left the room. He was Elvis. <laughs> you don't have to translate right away to Takaza. Um, you don't have to translate right away. I will ask if we need a translation. And I will often try to translate for people in the in chat for other, for other viewers as well. But thank you, anyways. No purpose of this for me is for me to practice all my languages as well. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if any, if if another viewer asks for a trans, if somebody else asks for a translation too, that's fine. But yeah, <laughs> left the room was all this. Het is een gek idee. Yeah, I'm not used to this word in French actually. I don't remember ever learning it, but apparently <laughs> it thinks it's Dutch. Dang. Dang? I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> Dang. Dang. It probably is, but it's, that one sounds weird to me for French. Dang. Dang. Ding. Dang. Ding. Dang. Okay, let's see. This guy has three votes for his pronunciation. Dang. Dong. Dong. Yeah, that's what I thought. That one didn't sound right. Dong. Dong. Dang. Dong. 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 Hmm. Dong. He sounds like more like ah. Uh. Dang. And she sounds like dang. <laughs> dong. Dong. She sounds more like this one, but if not, there's something. Dang. It's more subtle. Dang. Dang. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if they'll show me. Uh, they should be able to show me where these people are in France. Maybe. No, not exactly. This one looks like northern France or whatever. And let's see, this one is over more towards the south. Uh, this one, there's no map. Wait, what? Weird. Yes, no vote today, everyone. <laughs> dunk. Dunk. Het is een gek idee. Sit in the day, dunk. Ik heb er nog maar één. Ik heb er nog maar één. Oops. Uh, ik heb er nog maar één. Uh, huh. Try to translate this into English for everyone. Yes, I have three discords. <laughs> Je n'en ai plus que... I don't have even one. I don't have even one anymore. Nate, how would you translate this into English? I kept er noch mal ein. I only have one left, I think. I only have one, or is it? I don't have an. I don't. Okay, I have only one left. I only I have so. one. I think it's so. Yeah. Okay, I'll have one. Ich habe, ich habe noch mal. Yeah, the Mar is throwing it off again for me. Yeah. The Mar is just a softening here, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, actually, the Mar is what it's uh, is like the but only one. part. <laughs> 
No, because it's I, I because have, it's noch mar. If you say yeah, but if you say kever noch, it just means I have another one. But if you say kever noch mar, then it's are you sure? I only have one left. Yeah. Ich hab er noch ein. Yeah. No. I think noch mar is together as an expression. Yeah, That's what I'm trying to tell you. But I think it also uh, maybe uh, I don't know. Is yeah, it part no, of the expression or is it softening it? No, it makes it only. If you say kever yeah. noch ein, it just means I have another one and I have one more. But if you say kever noch mar ein, it means I only have one now. It's the, it's the emphasizing the, the, the limit. Uh, I'm just just being amused by how you're trying to explain it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, noch mal. It still throws me off, though, sometimes. Oh, let me just check my Anki on this one. Um, uh, okay, uh... Yeah, Dutch. No. I'm typing in Chinese. Noch mal. Yeah, only. That's that's why it always confuses me. Noch mal. It's like it has to mean only. Is there no other way that they say only? Alain mar. I think you can say alain. Can you say alain mar? Think so. See, and then. And this thing on my Anki, this was from Teacher Self Dad. Noch mar ein Storleza to read through again. <laughs> You're busy working now. I was just trying to point something out to you in Dutch because I don't. I would like your opinion. That's all right. I thought I just did. did no, the nervous? next one. What's the next one? It's been there for like last couple of seconds. Noch mal ein Storleza. In that case, the mind is probably softening. Mm -hmm. Like still, right? Time. Like still, right? Because yeah. noch means still. Noch nicht is not yet. Noch is also kind of like again. So. Um, everything I was saying noch by itself is still or yet. But noch mar ein Storleza. It's like way to make everything confusing. Honey? Mm -hmm. Do I have Elaine Mar in here? Yeah, see, I have Elaine Mar. Look what I have here. Elaine Mar. Expression used to emphasize that the speaker thinks the topic is rather limiting or blinded. That's what it says in Teacher Self Dutch. I don't know why they say that. And then there was this Alleen maar met jezelf bezig zijn. Thinking about working on yourself all the time, only occupied by yourself. I just realized it's getting dark in here, <laughs> and I'm st I, I am eating my lunch right now. Mm. What time is it? Well, I've only been on about an hour. Yeah, I started a bit late. I'm sorry. Ooh, you walked over there, and then you had to grab a protein bar. Ik heb er nog maar één. Dat is een ander probleem. Dat is een ander probleem. Dat is een ander probleem. Probleem. Dat is een ander probleem. Probleem. Zit een andere, zit een andere probleem. Um, next, that's another problem. That's what this means. That's another problem. Dat is een ander probleem. Mhm. Mm Nexty, nexty. 
Okay, next one. The French. Oh, yeah. Uh, from German. <clears throat> Dutch from German. from German. Which one am I doing? Let's do this one. Ah, uh, this is all messed up on me anyways. Dat dacht ik dus ook. She said that so fast. Da 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 da. <laughs> Dat dacht ik dus ook. Dat dacht ik dus ook. That's hard to say really fast. How the hell? Dat dacht ik Dacht ik dus ook. <clears throat> Nate, can you say this one really fast? Dat dacht ik dus ook. <laughs> faster? <laughs> I just heard that dacht. <laughs> it's that one, this one's a bit of a tongue twister, I think. Dat dacht ik. Because this, you have to say dacht. Dat dacht ik dus ook. Dus ook. And I don't speak German. So I think this is the, uh, I think the English translate, trans, ah, can't speak English. Uh, I thought that as well is how I would translate that into English. Dacht dus ook. This one is very tricky. <laughs> so I think it means I thought so too. <laughs> this is German here. People want to hear the German. I'm not sure if that's an accurate translation. That was what I thought. Das war's, was ich dachte. See, Games Mike is the German expert here. <laughs> not me. You can't so long bleiben as you want. You can't so long bleiben as you can stay as long as you want. Bleiben. Uh, yeah. You can't so long bleiben as you want. You can stay as long as you want. Du kannst, so this is me, du kannst so lange hier bleiben, bleiben, wie, wie du willst. That's German. It's telling me it's Dutch. Um, du kannst so lange hier bleiben, wie du willst. Yeah, some people really like German, apparently. Hij is mijn eerste liefde. He is my first love. That's what this is. Hij is mijn eerste liefde. Uh, there is some indirect translation here because this is this is she and this is he. Uh, sie ist meine erste Liebe. This is uh, some indirect translation from Tatuba that they pulled in. See, whoops, that's always bad with them. Sie ist meine erste Liebe. I kind of really wish close master that they had people actually checking the translations. Dat is te mooi om waar te zijn. That is too mooi. That's in English we just say that's too good to be true. But the Dutch is literally that is too beautiful to be true. Dat is te mooi om waar te zijn. No, not, not really with close master. What happens is they actually pull it up from this site. I don't know if you've seen this site before. They pull it up from this site, Tatuba. That's why I was looking at it earlier. Um, you can try to report them, but they tell you straight up just to go to the Tatuba website and to try and edit them on there. Um, so they might change if you if you put them in here. Uh, what was it? That is to moi on var design. Um, that is to more so you can look them up here usually yeah but uh but yeah more than likely they had they had some indirect translation i'm not gonna bother with you've never seen that site yeah it's kind of a mess it's interesting but it's also kind of a mess <laughs> it just it, it, yeah it's a bit of a mess what zou de wereld zonder vrouwen zijn 
the the whole i mean i respect i respect the fact that they wanted to try and create something that would be useful um translating sentences from one language to another but there's so much hit and miss um so i think these there's this is the sentence this is one sentence this is like a direct translation and these are indirect translations so with close master i think they just use I think they just wrote, wrote a program to pull it up from Tatuba, and sometimes it just pulls in the indirect ones, which is funny. What would the world zonder vrouwen zijn? What would the world be without women? This is what it means. What would the world zonder vrouwen zijn? Mike always has a smart ass comment about that, right, Nate? Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. You snickered. I have to help for an. Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. Nieuwe auto. I thought I heard him say that. A new auto. New. New. Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. He does say new. Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. He says new, but it's not supposed to be new. It's new. <laughs> Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. Okay, so he has no money for a new car. He doesn't have any money for a new car, basically. In German is er hat nicht das held for a new auto. Most of the time, I think going from German to Dutch, though, they they get it right. Er hat nicht das Geld für ein neues Auto. Okay, she's louder. Next. Hij heeft geen geld voor een nieuwe auto. Anyways, I like Close Master. It's pretty fun for picking up new vocabulary for a language if you know the language fairly. Uh, if you know the language, I don't know fairly well but not fluent in it it's a great way to get new vocabulary but i know this one Sta voor op. and i mostly use it for the right now i'm mostly using it for the listening Sta voor op. uh staff vroeg op is get up early get up early uh, ignore this next part <laughs> is it om hier te eten of om mee te nemen is it um here to eat and of me to name her? Oh, we get asked this a lot. Is it um here to eat or um me to name Except in English. And they often say, is it for here? Wait, what do, do, what do they usually say? Is it for here or for, or is it takeaway or something? That's what they usually say. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying take, is it for here or to, or to go? <laughs> So this is, is it for here to eat or to take away, to take away, this is weird. Is it om hier te eten of om mee te nemen? So basically in North America it would be, is it for here or to go? <laughs> Gaat u maar zitten waar u maar wilt. Gaat u maar zitten waar u, waar u maar wilt. Um, this is basically, literally, it's go sit where you want. But the mar here, like I was saying earlier, is kind of a softening command because the whole thing is a command. So, ha, hat umar sitzen, war umar wilt. So it's more like saying, not please, because there's a word for please in Dutch. It's just saying, oh, go sit where you want. Do you going to consume here? To pick up? I don't know how they say that in English. No, that normally it's is it for here or to go? <laughs> but yes, the Dutch construction is a little more awkward. It's very strange. Gaat u maar zitten waar u maar wilt. But that's North American English. I think in British English they say take away for take out. So here in English, they often say, is, is it for here or, or take away? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Natuurlijk. I understand why they say it. Natuurlijk. This is, of course, naturally, Natuurlijk. <sighs> okay, nexty, nexty. That was 10. Now I'm gonna get. It's been an hour. I'm only gonna be streaming for an hour and a half again today, I think. And and we're gonna do Dutch from Swedish. 
and I don't speak Swedish. This is all just listening exercises. Listening. Let's listen. It's actually a, a, kind of, for me. It's Wat kind kan of, ik anders zeggen? Kind of a cheat for me to practice listening to Dutch. Wat kan ik anders zeggen? Anders zeggen. I don't know why they give me two different female voices though. <laughs> Wat kan ik anders zeggen? What can I anders zeggen? What else can I say? What can I anders zeggen? Uh, I, I would translate this as what else can I say? Yeah. I don't speak Swedish, everyone. This is just good Dutch practice. What more can I say? What more can I say? What more can I say? So I am going to learn Swedish at some point. I have started a little bit of the Swedish course in Duolingo, but I haven't finished it. And I certainly haven't done enough Swedish that I can actually pronounce that really well. What more can I say? What more can I say? <laughs> she has wenig vrienden. She has wenig she has few friends. She has wenig vrienden. And actually, even though the Dutch is pretty easy for me to understand, I'm not marking these as mastered because I can't translate it from Swedish to Dutch. Um, where's the Swedish? I want to hear Swedish. Hon har på vänner. Hon har på vänner. Hon har på vänner. Actually, I might be able to translate that from Swedish, except for these words. I know this, I think. Because it's so close to Norwegian. Ik spreek Arabisch. I speak Arabic. Ik spreek Arabisch. Ik spreek Arabisch. Oh, sorry. Arabisch. Ik spreek Arabisch. Ja, ik taal Arabiska. Ja. Ja, ja. Ja, ik taal Arabiska. Ja, ik taal Arabiska. That's kind of what she said. Ja, ik taal Arabiska. Arabiska. What? <laughs> That's definitely different. Ik spreek Arabisch. Ik spreek Arabisch. I don't actually Ik speak moet Arabic. Moet je verlaten. I would like to be able to understand more Arabic. Ik moet je verlaten. Ik moet je verlaten. Uh, I have to let you go? <laughs> oh no, it's I have to leave you. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to let you go would probably be Ik moet you loslaten, I think. I got them confused. I'll look that up in a bit. Let's hear the Swedish. Jag... Jag... Oops! Jag måste lämna dig. Jag måste lämna dig. Jag måste lämna dig. So does anybody know Swedish? Jag måste lämna dig. Jag måste lämna dig. So this is, ik moet je verlaten. They're saying this is, I have to leave you. So, ik moet je los. Latin is, I have to let you go. Yeah, that's where I was getting confused. But for Latin, it's just like to leave behind. Oh, that's so sad. Nee. Mm -hmm. Ik moet je verlaten. Well, in English, I guess they're both kind of sad. I have to leave you and I have to let you go. Both kind of sad in English, depending, you know, in certain contexts. Het is een schadu. Het is een schadu. Het is een schadu. Het is een schadu. Die are in skuga? That's actually a cute word. They are in Skugga. They are in Skugga. They are in Skugga. Skugga. I actually kind of like that word. Skugga. <laughs> they are in Skugga. Skugga. Yes, it's a funny word. I kind of like it. Het is een schaduw. Ik ga naar het park. Ik ga naar het park. I go to the park. Ja, ska, uh, See, the, these vowels, I'm not sure how to pronounce sometimes. 
Jag ska gå till parken. Jag ska gå till. It's like a go. It's not an A sound at all. Jag ska gå till parken. Jag ska gå till parken. Jag ska gå till parken. Ik ga naar het park. Next. Hij kan niet zwemmen. Hij kan niet zwemmen. Zwemmen. He can't swim. Hij kan niet zwemmen. Han. Han kan niet zwemmen. Simmer for swimmer. Okay. Han kan inte simma. Han kan inte simma. Han kan inte simma. Nice. Je kan denk ik maar beter gaan. Je kan denk ik denk het maar beter gaan. Denk ik. Je kan denk ik maar beter gaan. You can. Je. Oh. <laughs> you can. Je kan denk ik maar beter gaan. Working on the listening comprehension. You can think it more better. Gaan. I know what this means. I think this is like in English. I guess you could just say this as you can just leave. I think it, it, this 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 mod better kind of softening thing. <laughs> Actually, let's hear the Swedish. Jag tror att I think it's. Jag tror att det är bäst att du går. Jag tror att det är bäst att du går. I think it's best you go. Du kan denk ik maar beter gaan. Yeah, I guess. I think you better go. Nate, how would you translate this? Google says, I think you better go. What's the holy... I would say, uh, I think it's probably better if you go. You're so excessively wordy. <laughs> Where's the... It's probably... <laughs> I, I, I think it's mark. I think it's probably. You think so? Kind of think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I kind of think is better than adding the probably go though. But for the Swedish one, it was like I think it's best you go. So. It's kind of similar. Yeah. That construction is tricky. Yeah. It is very it's tricky. Like, mm -hmm. like literally, it's you can think I. Mar is like a softening here, I think, and best like, leave. Think like the one altogether. No, there's Mar Beter. <laughs> Where does Mar go? I think it goes with think. I don't think so. I think it goes with. Well, I can't even type this right. I think it goes with better because it's right before better. Or I just think. But then how do you, then how do you translate better Khan? Well, if you say you can mar better Khan, then you say like yeah, maybe you should go. I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what I'm saying. Because I I've, I've seen the mar better expression. Okay. Then you're probably right. No, I don't think I'm probably right. I'm just telling you what I've seen. I'm telling you I think you're probably right. Okay. If that's what you think, then. But I'm just saying, you haven't really seen the Mar Beter otherwise? Mm. Just mostly Denkik Mar? I don't really pay attention to it. Yeah, pay more attention. I know, I know. Your brain had to switch to just being able to listen to it. <laughs> now you're now you're working on understanding everything you heard in the past three years. Yes. <laughs> Just being able to hear it is a giant hurdle. I know. <clears throat> you can think it more better. Gaan. It's still my problem too, though, Nate. You know that. Mm -hmm. It's like I understand the words, but but when I listen to something, I hear something in Dutch. I understand the words separately, but it still takes me a while to process exactly the whole meaning of what I'm hearing. And I may, 
And it sucks when you sometimes mishear the small words like the and the,、mm. or the pronouns. A donkey bell is just thank you. And、uh, this bell is an, kind of like an intensifier, so it's like saying. Not helpful, Nate, for what I'm trying to explain. Donkey bell. Taka. Donkey bell. This is more bell is like an intensifier for anything, so it's like saying thank you. So. Taka. Not sure about the Swedish. Hoe lang blijf je? Hoe lang blijf je? Hoe lang blijf je? Yes, in case people don't know, because Nate and I live in the Netherlands, we both have to learn Dutch. Hoe lang blijf je? So when are you going to stream the Dutch learning, or just the Chinese for now? Just Chinese for now. Yeah. Yeah. You already deal with Dutch at work, anyways. Hoe lang blijf je? Hoe lang blijf je? <laughs> How long are you staying? Hoe lang is het dat je staat na? How long will you stay? Okay, last little Dutch listening exercise will be Dutch from Hungarian. Yeah, let's do this one. Nexty, nexty. Niet te geloven. Niet te geloven. Huh? Niet te geloven. Is that like literally? It's not to believe. Unbelievable. Just the way you say unbelievable.、Mm -hmm. Won't they say unhelo? I guess not. Yeah. Yeah. Niet te geloven. Or is this a short way of saying don't believe it? Niet te geloven. Kind of feels like、sure. a kind of feels like a short way of saying don't believe it. But it is unbelievable. You are right. Yeah, I guess it's just unbelievable. Like I can't believe it in English. Yeah, they are synonyms. Yeah. Huh? What's? Niet gelooflijk is niet te geloven of buitengewoon. What was the last one? Buitengewoon, like、uh, out、oh. of the normal. Buitengewoon.、Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Ik kan niet leven zonder jou. Ik kan niet leven. Okay, way too clingy. I can't live without you. Ik kan niet leven zonder jou. Way too clingy. Er klopt iemand aan. I mean,、uh, well, I mean, I guess if I'm talking to my food, I can't live without you. <laughs> Penny, I can't live without you. <laughs> Or my favorite food, lobster and seafood. <laughs> my rice is cold again. Of course it is. You know, is it cardamom that has that funny, kind of like clean taste? Oh, I、yeah. think I think it. No, it's um. Cloves. Cloves. I just、it's、bit. It's the、uh, anise. Hmm. Fennel. Yeah, fennel. Well, I just bit a. An actual、um, peppercorn. Those are fun. I like those. Er klopt iemand aan. Um. Er klopt iemand aan. This is a, an expression. This a whole construction in Dutch is something you're just gonna have to remember if you're studying Dutch. This is like saying there's someone knocking. I got the door. Er klopt. Iemand aan. Aanklopt, I think, yeah. That's what I think. Er klopt iemand aan. Is someone, or in English, we just say someone is knocking. Yeah. 
Er klopt iemand aan. Actually, I didn't hear the Hungarian, just out of curiosity. Valaki kopogazaitu. I would love to learn more Hungarian. Uh, actually, so far, Hungarian has been the trickiest language for me to learn. Um, I'm not talking about vocabulary, I'm talking about grammar. <laughs> er klopt iemand aan. I mean, the vocabulary is tricky too, but um, vocabulary is the last thing I'm worried about. Er klopt iemand aan. Er klopt iemand aan. So, there's someone knocking who is weird in English. Um, there, so basically, er klopt is like saying there is knocking. And then they just say someone. And then an, I think, goes with an kloppen. An kloppen, I think. Yeah, knock on the door. So, er klopt an is there's knocking. And then they just tag on someone. Er klopt iemand an. Someone is knocking at the door. So, someone knocks. Yeah, you can do that too. If you're well, writing a book. Me. Say you're telling a story, you can say, Er klopt iemand an. Someone knocks. Bel mij niet meer. Don't call me anymore. Bel mij niet meer. Call me not anymore. Don't call me anymore. <laughs> Bel mij niet. Neem een paar dagen vrij. Neem een paar dagen vrij. Uh, take a few days off. Neem een paar dagen vrij. That's what I'd say in English. Take a few days off. Vrij here from Dutch literally means free. Ik hoop dat dit ons zal helpen. Ik what hope? Ik hoop dat dit ons zal helpen. I hope that this will help us. That's pretty easy. Ik hoop dat dit ons zal helpen. Ik hoop dat dit ons zal helpen. I hope that this will help us. There we go. Er is niemand thuis. Er is niemand thuis. There's no one home. Er is niemand thuis. There is no one home. Like literally in English. Mijn zoon wordt vandaag vier jaar. Mijn zoon wordt vandaag vier jaar. Uh, my son turns four today. My son. Wordt is like to bec become returns my son turns four years old today my son turns four today <laughs> oh hi stony arts how's it going laten we niet te lang wachten how is your day laten we niet te lang wachten laten we niet te lang wachten laten we niet te lang wachten let's not wait too long <laughs> Laten we niet te lang wachten. <laughs> I think we were saying that earlier, weren't we, Nate? About PlayStation. <laughs> it's going great. How about you? I'm good. Okay, decent. Just trying to practice some Dutch. <laughs> it hurts my head some days. <laughs> Is your mother thuis? Is your mother thuis? But I think I'm going to take a break soon. I was Is hoping to get thuis? more done, but I think I might take a break soon. Is your mother thuis? Is your mother thuis? Is your mother at home? Is your mother at home? That is pretty easy. What were you playing earlier? I see you pop on and you're playing something. I mean, um, were you playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla a while ago, recently? Or am I misremembering? Okay, we are done with Clothes Master. Yeah, how is it? How do you like it? Um, Nate and I just bought it. Um, but we both want to play it on PlayStation 5 instead. I could play it on PlayStation 4, but I'd really rather wait till we get a PlayStation 5 first. But it's pretty good so far. Oh, that's cool. It looks fun. I mean, all, Assassin's, uh, all of the Assassin's Creed games look fun to me. So... <laughs> actually, I really love Assassin's Creed games. I love. I actually really wish they uh, do more with the present day. And I don't know if you played Odyssey, but uh, they had a really nice uh, surprise at the end of that one in present day story. 
I was actually pretty floored. I didn't think they were going with that, but I was pretty floored. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it is, has been actually about an hour and a half. I was hoping to do more today, but I think I want to take a break. Um, I was going to do maybe Dutch grammar, but um, read some Dutch grammar online, but maybe I'll just take a break and do that by myself. Oh, it's on this. You were shocked? Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, no spoilers for anybody else who hasn't played the game, but yes, we were shocked by the en ending in the present day for Odyssey. Um, yeah, see, I'm kind of torn because I do need to study more. I also would like to play some more games. <laughs> It sucks, and I do need to have. I need. I probably should eat, take a break and eat dinner or something. Um, and plus, overall, I think Twitch is really quiet today. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I follow more than a few people. And earlier, I didn't see a lot of people on. Well, maybe people are coming on now. No, mm, not really. Yeah, not really. There's a few, a few extra people popping up right now, but not a lot. <laughs> Usually the list of channels I follow is like, you know, it's usually filled up with red dots. <laughs> and it's pretty quiet today. It's actually even quiet in, in Duolingo right now too, which it's been really quiet in the Duolingo category lately. I don't know why, but it has been. Um, Uh, this person went offline again. Uh, let's see. Yes, I did hear about Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't know if I have time to play all of Mass Effect again. Um, I did, sadly, already play the trilogy. I played Mass Effect on Xbox 360. And then I played Mass Effect 2 and 3 on PlayStation 3. So, um, but that's cool. Hopefully I'll get some other people into the Mass Effect universe. Um, but I'm excited about that they announced the, <laughs> the new game. The new game. I can't wait for the new game to come out. If I, if I have enough time, I will try to play Mass Effect Trilogy again, maybe. Um, and do like probably try and rush through the trilogy if I ever have time to, but I have a huge games list that I have to get through. I have a bunch of games that I want to wait. You can't wait. I know, I know. But you know what? One thing at a time, I need PlayStation 5. <laughs> I want my PlayStation 5. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's just, I guess we're doing a small raid today. Um. This is other... Okay, I, I gotta switch headphones. You can't wait. It'll be really cool. I really love Mass Effect, actually. And I might play a game... They're sold out over at PlayStation. Oh, they are definitely sold out in Europe, too. Um, yeah. I think... Uh, uh, I'm not sure where the problem is. I mean, it's totally possible that Sony couldn't even produce more. Like, it's like it's totally possible they can't produce more even if they wanted to right now. Or, you know, it's possible they're just making more as they go. But it's just uh, maybe they just really couldn't produce as many as fast as they could, as fast as people wanted them to. So, oh, okay, I see some people... Uh, Okay, I see a couple other people on Duolingo right now, so I'm going to check out a couple of them. Um, I like to rate new people when I can, so who's ever around, please stick around. We'll try to find somebody. Raids are fun. Uh, what is this person learning? I just want to see. Oh, looks like he's learning Spanish. El Español es uno de mis idiomas favoritos. 
Spanish is one of my favorite languages for everyone who doesn't understand Spanish. And they're sold out over here though. Where is here for you, Stony Arts? For me, it's the Netherlands and pretty much Europe, so. I can't hear this guy. He doesn't sound like he's talking on his stream. I mean. Well, you can kind of, his stream is really quiet. If I turn my volume up anymore, like the other stuff is gonna sound louder. Okay, who's this other person? I really don't know why people want to try and speed run Duolingo. You can if you want, but you know, whatever. Not my thing. It takes a while for your brain to get used to new languages. Like, I don't think you learn very well trying to speed run Duolingo. This guy has an echo on his stream. Okay, well, I think I decided who we're gonna raid. So, who, Lancaster, is that, ca wait. Is that California? <laughs> yeah. No, so it's early for you right now. Well, thanks for popping by. <laughs> and yes, legendary edition sounds really cool. <laughs> or is it the phrase legendary edition? I did see that actually, sorry. Yes, it does sound cool. The whole thing is cool. It's Mass Effect. <laughs> okay, we're going to raid somebody who's learning Spanish. It seems pretty quiet right now. Seems kind of chill, I guess. He's just studying. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to take a break, have some dinner, and, and decide on what I feel like doing next. <laughs> it's 8.13. 8.13? Wait, do you normally get up this early? <laughs> so, uh, normally when I raid, we like I like to say ninja bot raid, and, uh, and one, one, 13 for you. 113. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, it's lunchtime for you. That's Eastern. That's Eastern time. So we are going to raid somebody who's learning Spanish. This should be fun. It's pretty quiet. I might have to try to get him to speak up louder or turn up his uh, overall volume. So I'm going to say thanks for popping in, whoever popped in today. Thanks for hanging out with me while I... Uh, Dutch a fry my brain some more. And uh, Language Lamb says, thanks for hanging out. <laughs> He's my study buddy, helps me learn. So and saying on, and we are gonna raid. Everyone say Ninja Bot raid. And if you know how to say this in Spanish, hola, como estas? You already ate lunch. <laughs> I'm still eating. <laughs> yeah, see you all later. Three, three raiders, three raiders ready? I thought we had more. I guess maybe we don't have more. It's fine. Okay, right now. See you all later.